Ratings are in tonight, and they show a longtime radio leader maintaining its number one position. WCCO AM continues its lead, and its ratings were up in the last survey. KS95 was also up to the number two position, up from number four, and that was an upset for KQRS, which fell to number three, and WLOL posted a ratings increase, gaining the number four slot. Tonight on News 11 Extra, a look inside the stations making big gains and the unseen voices in the ratings battle. Our team report begins with News 11's John Bachman and the station known as the Good Neighbor to the North. Good morning to you here on the Boone and Erickson Show on WCCO Radio. And Charlie Boone no, uh, and Roger uh, Erickson, yeah. two of the best uh, reasons WCCO uh, is one of the most uh, dominant uh, radio stations in the country. The this morning, they're talking here, about Charlie. President Reagan. No matter what happens to him, he seems to come out okay. Yeah, and that your son, President Reagan, is the only guy I know who can stick his foot in his mouth and come out with his shoes shine. If you're using Bladex or Atrazine on your corner, they seem to genuinely enjoy their work and each other, and that translates into high ratings. In the most recent rating period, WCCO jumped up a half a rating point to a 17.6% or a share of the audience. That's nearly twice the listeners of its closest competitor. Still, in recent years, CCO's ratings have fallen as radio and television selection and competition has increased. So in May, WCCO will fine-tune its format a bit, including putting Boone and Erickson together for four instead of two hours each morning. But don't look for dramatic changes. So what we want to see is to build uh, and, to, and to evolve and to be consistent, that we're not looking for dramatic anything at WCCO radio, that what we have ain't broke. And uh, what we're trying to do is to just enhance it and make it uh, a little bit stronger. Not only CCO, but also WLOL is up in the latest ratings, and Amy Powell has that story. Police say they believe four people were wounded in the shootout last night as the suspects held off 30 deputies. With lots of sunshine, and then tomorrow, sunny and nice, and then the next day, sunny and nice, and then the next day, and so on. They are the morning drive team at WLOL Radio. John Hines and Bob Berglund. The zaniness of Hines is balanced by Berglund's distinguished style. The contrast in their styles is part of the charm, and it's a blend that has been working for six years. Managers of WLOL say Hines and Berglund are largely responsible for the station's comeback in the ratings. WLOL has risen from a distant fifth place in the last ratings period to fourth place, and is threatening to take the number three spot. Managers believe the station was getting too talky a few months ago, so they made some changes. It's basically we're paying off on promises that we made uh, during the book. We said that uh, we were going to uh, play more music and we were going to talk less and we're going to play less commercials, and that's basically what we did. It's a pretty simple formula. Oh, it's about 27 minutes after 8. Instead of talking and hanging out, why don't we just play another song? WLOL is so confident about its growth that it hopes to be able to refer to itself as the number one FM station by fall. Amy Powell, News 11. And our series on radio stations will continue throughout the month of May.